Well, tonight local high school students are coming together to share their artistic perspectives on the black experience in Spokane. Northwest Passages is hosting a black story symposium to spotlight young black writers. Crime Team's Janelle Finch joins us to share more now about how Spokane is celebrating black creatives and their art. Hi, Mark and Whitney. I spoke with one of the students ahead of tonight's event, and she told me she's just counting down the hours until she and other high school students take the stage. She says through expressing herself through writing, she has gotten more connected with her culture, and she can't wait to share how she found herself with Spokane. Juanetti Kalu is a junior at Rogers High School. She says she uses writing as an escape from the stressors of reality. It's actually been helping me in my own personal life with stuff I'm going through, so I've been writing a lot of like short stories and poems. Tonight, Winnetia and other black high school students will share their stories. The Spokesman Review began collecting students' stories, poems, art, and short films in early December to showcase during the event. The paper published six of their student submissions. Winnetia says her story shares what a lot of different minority communities may feel living in Spokane. It's from a perspective that I feel like all minorities can kind of fit in, not just African Americans, and I wanted it to show that, you know, despite what we display on the outside, you know, maybe we display that we're perfectly fine and like okay with any discrimination going on in the world, but it's like it can't be overlooked. Attendees will also hear from Spokane native Mandy Price, who has helped produce some of America's favorite shows like Little Fires Everywhere and Area 81. Mandy says growing up, Spokane didn't have a showcase for black artists. She says she's honored to be a part of an event that inspires young creatives in her hometown to share their art. There's just so many different facets of what is art. And I think that if we just celebrate all kinds, then I mean, how magical is that? And, and to have that, something like that in Spokane that celebrates culture um, is just it's something that's unique to the city. And I'm so grateful to the city for having something like this. Mandy will talk about the importance of representation in a discussion with Spokane NAACP President Kiantha Duncan. She says with her position in Hollywood, she wants to support young people who look like her and encourage them to take risks, dream big, and keep sharing their stories. Tonight's event begins at 7 p.m. Organizers are, are expecting over 100 attendees to come to the sold out event and hear from black youth in Spokane. Janelle Finch, Crem2 News.